do this, you can't say anything to anybody about my baby. Hey, hey, John, we were, we were just talking. I know. I heard. I pro- You, you heard us talking? You were telling Brody not to tell anyone about the baby. I, um, I thought you wanted to keep your pregnancy a secret, so why are you talking to Brody about it? You told me she's pregnant because... I told him I'm pregnant because while we were combing this place for clues, looking for who knocked out Christian and stole that file, I got sick. Really sick. And in order to convince Brody I didn't have to be rushed to the hospital, I kind of had to come clean with him. I'm sorry. I guess the cat's out of the bag. Are you all right? Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm totally fine now. I guess I got morning sickness in the afternoon. <laughs> I'm glad that's all it was. Yeah. Mom, well, looks like we're both in the same boat now. Yeah. So, um, I guess maybe we should try to wrap things up here. There's nothing really to wrap up. We're done. Um... And there's something I want to say to John. To tell you... Congratulations. Thanks. Appreciate it. Uh, so I canvassed the neighbors. No one saw anyone matching the description of our guy around the time Christian was knocked out and the Bennett Thompson file was stolen. Our guy? You guys want to clue me in on who you guys think did it? Yeah, sure. But this doesn't leave this room. Of course. Bennett Thompson is Elijah Clark. Eli? Yeah, it's just a theory right now. We need proof, and I need your help to get it. Well, I mean, I wish I could just hand it over to you, but I mean, like I told you on the phone, there was not one fiber, hair, fingerprint that didn't belong to Christian or Layla or someone that we knew was supposed to be in here. Whoever stole that file and knocked Chris out, they know their way around a crime scene. Like a good lawyer. Yeah, well, um... I guess, uh, we should go file our reports at the police Hey, guys. Wait a second. What exactly am I missing here? You're big from him. Uh, you're not, you're not missing anything. Assuming it was Eli who knocked Chris out and took the file, he would have had to move pretty quick. Why is there no trace of him? I don't know. I mean, I, I told you I searched this place with a fine-tooth comb. And my team, too. Well, I'm not, uh, I'm not talking about just the crime scene. I'm, I'm talking about the whole case. There's a, there's a piece missing, something that I'm, I'm just not seeing, a connection I'm not making. Well, it's definitely not here. I mean, Eli made sure of that. Well, like you said, the guy's a pro. He knows how to cover his tracks. Not like when Hannah O'Connor went to town on Ford in that room over there. She practically gift-wrapped all of the evidence for us. We're not so lucky this time. What are you thinking? Maybe nothing. But I'll tell you one thing. I'm not leaving any stone unturned until I get the whole story. I know for a fact how much... In the hospital, send over Christian's clothes, but don't need to rat. I don't think Eli left anything behind. Okay. I'm gonna check out another angle. You sure you're all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm okay. Go. I'm fine, you know? It's nothing that millions of other women haven't gone through before. You know, um, you know Marty had complications early, and... We're both okay. I know how much this baby means to you. I'm just glad you're all right. I'm sorry that I blabbed everything. But since it's not a secret anymore, maybe we could tell everyone the news. Sure. I'm sure your sister will get a kick out of sharing this with you. No pun intended. Oof. I tried. I'll see you later. <laughs> Close. Thank you. For what? For agreeing not to tell John that I'm my baby's father.
I didn't agree to anything. I was still trying to get the, my head around the news myself. I, I didn't know how to tell John, even if I wanted to. Why would you want to? How am I supposed to live if I think I could have another child out there? Can you live without Jessica? Because that's the risk that you would be taking. We agreed that we were not going to tell her that we slept together because we were we were sure that it would hurt her so much. You think I don't remember all that? What if we created a baby from that night? What do you think that would do to Jessica? And I don't mean to her heart, to her mind. What would that do to her psychologically? Todd, I understand how you feel. I am 99% sure that this is John's baby, and I am begging you. One person and forget about it and do what's best for everyone. The last thing I want to do is hurt Jessica. But if there is even the smallest chance that the baby you're carrying is mine, I can't overlook it. Look at what happened with Gigi's sister. You are not seriously comparing me to Stacy Morasco. No, no, of course not. But I don't want to take any risks. Not on that baby. This baby is John's now and forever. How did that, uh, that angle you were working on pan out? Well, I'm going to see someone who might be the missing piece of the puzzle I've been looking for. Great. I'll see you later. Okay. Okay. Oh, hey, Natty, I'm glad I found you. I need your help. You okay? Yeah, sure way. Okay, well, look, if this has anything to do with that thing with you and Gigi, just know that I'm... I'm pregnant. What? Yeah. You and John are going to be parents? That's great! Okay. Isn't it?